Hello everyone. Um, a couple of people asked me to show how I inserted pages into this notebook that I ordered. Now I'm not used to doing this kind of tutorial or uh, demonstration and so you'll have to forgive me if I don't uh, meet the requirements <laughs> but um, I will give it a go. I will give it a go. Um, now, this is the notebook that I used. Um, this is what it looked like before I decorated it. It's a hardback book with a spine and um, I prefer to use this um, type of book because the pages um, are stitched in and they have signatures. Now if you're uh, a junk journalist or even if you're not you will be familiar possibly with the anatomy <laughs> as it were of a book. So I don't know if I can show you here but it has and the and the thing to do to find out is to just lift the pages apart like that and you will see the signatures and there are five signatures or six <laughs> it's quite difficult to tell actually I decided there were five and then I keep changing my mind but something like that because they're very they're very these these the pages are very thin very very thin so um, it's not always easy to tell and also I think not only do they stitch uh, the signatures together but I think they also glue them down the spine um, and it might be common bookmaking pro uh, procedure at the moment, I don't know. Anyway, so, now, the first thing to do is to find the centre of the signature that you want to uh, insert the pages. Now, it's very easy, well, you, you might have to pull open the pages a few times but you will find if you keep going you will find the stitching in the center of the signature Come on. No. I must have gone past it well I've missed the first one I, w I, I wouldn't put um, a page in the first one you can if you want to but I didn't I didn't I missed the first um, signature out and I moved to the second signature and if I bring it up closely you'll see um, I open the book that ish you can see the stitching I hope you can anyway um, but there is stitching along there so that's where it's going now, I um, I chose some Tim Holtz paper, and it's a travel theme. I thought that if when I alter the book <laughs> at some point, I could make it a travel themed notebook. Um, so what you do is you measure measure okay you measure the width the sorry you measure the depth which is It's eight and a quarter, so it's eight and a quarter long, 
and what you need to do then is to measure the length of the pages and this one is can you see is five and a quarter so I just doubled that up that means that that one is five and a quarter so that's ten and a half but just as a precaution I would um, cut out 11 so that's 8 8 and a quarter by 11 inches let's have a look see how, how well I've done yeah that's 8 and a quarter Well, that's 11 and a quarter. So maybe you better do 11. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's do it flat. Did I say 11 and a half? Oh, yeah, that's it. It wasn't flat. 11 and a half, the, w the width. Okay. And then I've got another piece somewhere. Oh, yeah, here we are. Let's take this piece. Now I didn't do that in this piece, so don't do what I didn't, what I did wrong. This piece is only 11. You do need that extra bit, um, half an inch, um, a quarter of an inch each side. Um, then, oh, hang on. Sorry, I'm all over the place, as you can see. Right, here's another sheet that I've cut, but I haven't folded. Folding is the next thing, and it's quite important that you um, give it a very good crease. So I use a, bind, <laughs> a bone folder, give it a good crease, because this is the part that is going to go into the book. So I do it both side, sides. So that is another sheet that's ready to be inserted and it's upside down. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to this one. We found our place with the stitching and what I've done is I've got some tape now. I think, yeah, this is a quarter of an inch double-sided tape. And this is what I've used. You could use glue. But um, I prefer this. And what I've done is I've put a strip along the edge one side and another strip along the edge the other side. But what we're going to do is just going to put in one side. So take off the paper and then very carefully ooh, check that it's up the right side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very important. Check it's up the right way, and that means that I'm <laughs> now. And then make sure you've got the paper lined up with the. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Lined up and right in the centre, and then push push the book down on top of it <laughs> and hopefully that will have stuck that side yes it has ok so then we take the strip off this side and we 
press it down. So I said it was quite easy. Um, and it is. Now you can see. So now we have an inserted pages upside down. Oh, no, this is the right way up. <laughs> um, and as you see, it matches the width of the uh, pages perfectly. That extra bit just does it. Um, you always get this, well obviously because that's where you've uh, glued it with the double sided tape. So there you have it. Uh, I hope that helps. Um, I hope you don't need me to go over it again. I did cut up another page. I think this one is the right size. Yeah. So let me just go over it. Let me just repeat it one more time. So what I need to do is find the centre of the signature with all the stitching. Um, oh, there we go. Now that's the last one, the last signature in the book. And what I would do is I would put a page here and I'd probably put one in, in round about the middle of the book. So that is going to go in there and it ca 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 um, matches my travel theme which I've chosen for this book. So what you do is you put a mind frame, you put it just next to the fold. Okay. That's one side. And then we do the other side. sure it's up the right way okay and that's going in there so what we do you find the okay so we've got the stitching visible so we take off one side of the double sided tape we line it up so that it matches and then we you don't have to turn the book down if you think you're confident enough just to press it along the center and then um, sorry I'm, I'm very pernickety Nickety. There you go. And I'll take this off. Okay. And now I will put, close the book on this one and press it down. Something's going on. I wonder if I didn't cut it right. might need trimming. Let's have a look. Yes, it would appear that I haven't trimmed it correctly. Because, if you can see, the page is larger than the book. I don't know what went wrong there. So, that's fairly easy. I would just measure how much I don't need and then just trim it off either side. Okay, so that's how I insert my pages into an existing book. Now just to show you, this is another part of the paper collection by Tim Holtz and I thought these would make perfect um, uh, 
journal cards. <laughs> journal cards. So I, uh, I could, I would cut those out and put them with tea dyed, uh, coffee dyed paper on the back. And then some of the other sheets. This is um, a map one. This is another um, plain themed page. I'd probably use this one to create the tuck spot, tuck, tucks to be put in the, so I would cut a piece up, I would just put some tape um, and, and then I'd put it on the corner of the book, so, um, and then we have a tuck spot for, for the journal cards. So there you have it. Um, I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye for now.